Hello everyone and welcome to traditional sign painting with me, The Letterhead. This week I'll be hand painting and gilding a sign for a fictional British pub called The Bowman's Arms. And to top it off, I'm going to be using some tools and materials that I have never used before. So this is going to be a learning curve for the pair of us. So strap in. So now everything's all marked out, I'm going to start straight away with the lining. Now I have never used a lining brush before, I just ordered these in, these are the straight liner Alpha 6 brushes. Now the Alpha 6 brushes I'm using today came in a set of three. You get a zero, a one, and a two, and the brush that I'm using today is a size two. Now they do feel quite nice, although it really is something that I'm not used to. Truth be told, in the past I've always just stuck with lettering in designs. If I've had to do straight lines over long areas, to be honest, I've just used tape. But I've got nothing but admiration for the artisans who carry on this skill. But before I knew it, the border was complete. But it was really nice to try something new today and maybe with some practice I might actually become good at it. Now the leaf I'm going to be using today is an imitation gold leaf and it is the first time I've ever used an imitation gold leaf. Now you can get an imitation gold leaf in sheets like this from most art stores. I don't think this one is particularly special and I imagine you can get anything like this really easily. Now I noticed straight away that the leaf was really really thick. It was really really thick and unbelievably heavy. I mean the idea that I was able to actually pick this up with my hand was almost alien to me. I wouldn't dream of doing this with genuine gold leaf. But because it was so easy to handle it was so quick to work with. I was able to gild most of the border at this time within a matter of minutes. Everything was going so well and it would only be a matter of time before the border was finished and I'd be able to move on to that lettering. Uh, yeah, until this happened. The metal leaf stuck to the background paint absolutely everywhere. It's a real rookie mistake to make because normally with gold leaf I would use something to help the gold stop sticking to the background. Now I don't know why, but I really had this hunch that the metal leaf wouldn't stick to the background. But it was a hunch that means I'm going to have to start completely from scratch. Because I missed that step, I'm going to have to take this sign back, sand it down and completely repaint it. Now three days later I sanded down the sign, repainted it, I've made a new drawing and I'm raring and ready to go. And I've not forgot my all important step of covering it in stinky rotten eggs. Yes, 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 it is absolutely disgusting, but it really works. Now I'm going to quickly breeze through the gilding and sign painting of this border. And seeing as I had to re-gild it, I really thought I'd try and see if I can pick up the imitation gold leaf with a gilder's tip. And as you can see, I was able to cut it pretty effectively on the gilder's cushion as well. The real problem I noticed that I was having real difficulty picking up the gold leaf with the tip. Now normally gold leaf you really wouldn't have a problem, it's beaten so thin and it's so light and it's very easy to apply this way. But this kind of leaf, it's really, really thick, really, really heavy. So what I had to do is use linseed oil. And that, what that does is that helps the gilder's tip pick up really heavy leaf.
Before long the gilding was complete and nothing left to do but to wipe off the excess and pray to everything that's holy that this in fact worked. Brilliant, this is how gold leaf is supposed to come off. Nice and easy leaving you perfectly clean and crisp edges. Thank goodness for rotten eggs. So now I can finally get on with the lettering. Now it takes me a minute or two to get into the swing of things today. Now the brush I'm using for this video is a size 8 synthetic sign painting brush. And this one in particular I got from Handovers in the UK. They're particularly snappy and great for things like this. Now the paint I'm going to use alongside with it is the One Shot Imitation Gold. Now I find this really really good for gilding. And the one reason that I really like it is that you can see it really really well when you're writing. Sometimes when you've got gold size they're often clear and it makes it really really difficult to see. So if I'm doing lettering I'll almost always use Imitation Gold. And the good thing about this stuff it gets ready to gild in nearly the same time as the Fast Dry Gold size that you're able to get. So very, very similar when it comes to gilding. If I'm doing something bigger or a larger area, generally what I'll use is a slow dry gold size. But for something like this, imitation gold is just perfect. Look at this new trick that I learned how to do on the video editor. Look at it, look at the way it zooms and goes down. Oh, by the way, you guys are gonna see a whole bunch of these now that I learn how to do this. This is what we're all about. Improvement, learning, going forward. Pushing the boundaries of technology. <coughs> yeah. Yeah, you are gonna get absolutely sick of this.
okay, I really think this is the last one. I think. Now the lettering's ready to gild, I'm going to apply the leaf and using the wax paper I'll be able to apply enough pressure to really get that leaf to stick. And for the first time in this project it finally felt like I was getting used to this stuff. And now I know it works I can really crack on with finishing the rest of this lettering.
that's all the leafing done and this sign is finally starting to look really really cool so the next step outlining so it's back to my really long haired brush and for this section i'm using the ronan paints ivory now normally i just use my regular sign painting brushes but this long haired brush really really worked well for this it was difficult to get the sharp edges but really really great for holding lots of paint Now as the leaf was so so thick I noticed it made a really really large ridge at the outside of the letters. If I was going to do this thing again I would put the outline on the outside of the letters so I wouldn't be fighting so much at getting too close to that ridge. Because of that ridge it's really really difficult to get that smooth line that you're really after. One thing that you have much less of a problem with with genuine gold leaf as it's beaten so much thinner.
So now I'm onto the shadow to finish it. The colour I'm using for the shadow is the Ronan Paints Medium Brown. Although I notice it's very, very red for a medium brown. When I bought the paint, I was kind of expecting it to look a lot more like the One Shot Medium Brown. The colours are pretty close, but although the names are the same, you've got to be wary because sometimes the colours will differ between the brands. And for some reason, I really couldn't see this brown very well. The sign was really, really shiny and I have a lot of lights behind me in order for you guys to see really well through the camera. And because of that, it was creating so much glare and the lines were so difficult to see. So there were a lot of things in this section that I had to go around and fix later on the next day. You'd be amazed how much more you can see in the daylight. Now I'm finally finishing off the shadow and this project is finally coming to a close. There's nothing left to do but for me to let this dry and then come back the next day to clean it off. And here is my finished sign. I hope you like it and I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something too because I definitely did. If you like the video, make sure you give it a like. If you want to see more stuff like this, make sure to hit subscribe. And until next time, I've been Lewis the Lighthead. Bye bye.